This is my nephew Henry. I've already made him a Lord of the Rings cloak and I wanted to make him some dog armor. His parents are both very into the Witcher game. I've seen the show but I've never played the game but I wanted to make him leather armor based off of the game. So first up I gathered some screenshots. I went to my friend's house and took some pictures of the armor from different angles so that I would have some reference images to work off of. I took a pattern off of a jacket that Henry already had and I used that as a basis for a paper pattern. As usual extremely chaotic patterning ensued. I wanted the armor to attach at his stomach with a strap and on either side of his chest because I wanted to leave his chest open for a witcher medallion. It was a fun challenge trying to figure out how to incorporate all of the details of the armor into the shape of a dog's body. Here are all of my pattern versions. As usual, I start by drawing by hand and eventually digitize the pattern to clean up all of my lines. I printed out my digitized pattern, taped it together. I made a small square of chainmail, and now I'm just figuring out how it's going to attach to the armor. Here's my completed pattern after all of my final adjustments. Chainmail is such a slow process. This is sped up a hundred times. These pauldrons are so tiny. I'm just figuring out the layout here with little pieces of paper. Then I started gathering some leather scraps and trying to figure out which leather I was going to use for each layer. I've got a couple different colors of brown here. I hand stitched the edges of the leather straps just for decorative reasons. I hand stitched the corners of the chainmail to the pauldrons just to hold them in place while I did the rest of the work. So this is the current status of my dog armor. I hand stitched all of these and I stitched the chainmail on. The black lines are literally just sharpie. Then I hand stitched the black leather. I built the shoulders up with little bits of foam so he looks like he actually has shoulders. Sorry Henry, you're not ripped. I started folding over the edges of the pauldrons using double-sided tape to hold the edges in place. On something so tiny and so finicky using glue for this, yeah it'd be more durable but it would be an absolute nightmare. I need to stitch the edges of these and I need to stitch this one, both the inside and the outside, to match that. I need to add um, a loop for his leash. I might actually put it below. There's a strap there on the front of Geralt's armor. I used veg tan cowhide to create a witcher medallion, which I just tooled with a swivel knife and some bevel stamps. Then I hand painted the medallion using silver paint and black antique paste. I glued all of the layers together with some hand stitching. I added a D-ring to his back so there was somewhere to clip his leash to and added straps to the belly and the chest. And here he is in his finished armor, my handsome little man. He looks so cute in it. I am going to trim around his shoulders a little bit more because he did have a little bit of limited range of motion, but otherwise it fit him perfectly. We were so excited to take him out and show it off. 